What is up, you guys? John here for Obese to Beast, and I'm bringing you a chest and shoulder workout because you guys seem to like this stuff, so I like to do it for you. All right, so first, with chest and shoulders, I always like to start out with chest, obviously, and I like to start out with compound movements. So for me, I have been working on my upper chest, so that's why I like to start out with incline chest pressed with the barbell. And uh, <laughs> I really like this because it works on your upper chest a lot more than the flat bench does. Uh, a couple cues I like to use is definitely keep your scapula retracted. So what that means is basically you're not just putting your uh, back straight on the bench. You're kind of having an, um, an arch to your back. And I'll explain that a little bit more when I move on to um, the flat bench right here. So you can tell, obviously, I don't just sit down. You you have to you want to lift your back up. And then I'll post a link to uh, Chris Jones's video about uh, um, retracting your scapula because he does a really great video that explains exactly what that means. So when you're, when you're pressing, what I would recommend is don't, you want to control that negative a lot. It's very important. And I, I say that in every video, but it's something that I feel like as beginners we forget because we think that pressing and pushing the weight up is the most important part. But bringing that weight down slowly and controlling it the whole time is definitely more important. Um, always recommend that. So first, just so I can let you guys know, I started out with, it was incline press and then I went to flat press, uh, just regular bench press. And now... I'm doing, this is a decline hammer strength. Um, I have, think I have two plates on each side. This thing is really awesome. What I like to focus on is um, you want to almost feel like you're twisting your wrists in when you're uh, pushing out because you, you can feel it a lot in your in your chest. And this thing is awesome as you can see by my uh, sweet faces that I like to make when I am str <laughs> struggling on the last rep there. Um, and then I moved on, after that I moved on to doing some dips. Hey Brian, doing some dips. And uh, I like to do these after I do my main movements just because it's really good, it really makes me burn out. And uh, I like to see how many I can do usually after I do my main movements. Usually it's about uh, 10, eight to ten reps and then just so you guys know every exercise that you're seeing I'm doing about three to four sets of eight to twelve reps it really all depends and all on how I'm feeling that day and how strong I'm feeling and then at the end of every single chest workout I end it with flies with hopefully with cable flies if they're open and so I like to end it with these flies what a very important thing that I would say that a lot of people don't realize is you want to keep your arms straight at the at least at the very end of the movement because if you're not you're going to be getting a lot of your front delts in there with the front part of your shoulders and that's not what you want obviously and then I moved and then I so I like to superset this so I'll do usually 10 to 12 reps and then I'll do push-ups until I can't do anymore and I think I was able to get like six or seven <laughs> and I was just super dead oh you can do it oh I believe in myself <laughs> and then after that I moved on to shoulders I like to start with rear delts which is like the back part it's almost like your back it's on the back part of your shoulder a lot of people don't hit this muscle enough and though they're lacking in it a lot so I like to start with rear delts first um, with this this a uh, couple cues that I like to use is you want to be pulling with your basically with your thumb and your index finger and your other fingers are there just to basically they're just there you know what I mean you're not using any of the rest of your hand to pull the weight back and you want to keep your chest up and um, almost like a bend to your back you know what I mean you don't want to be leaning forward at all because you won't be hitting your rear delts like you're supposed to be and then after that I moved on to I did just did some side lateral raises my my biggest advice on this exercise definitely is you want to be like a classy lady and keep your pinky up you when you're lifting that weight up you want your pinky to be almost like twist your wrist so your pinkies are up you'll definitely hit your uh, the middle delt a lot better and try and hold it at the top if you can you definitely I feel like I feel a lot big, better of a burn when I do that for sure like not it does it doesn't even compare that if I'm just uh, going up and down without even thinking about it or controlling it at all well, that was cool that was cool looking <laughs> here I was trying to find the 35 pound plate to do some front raises with and then I found it and then I started doing front raises with it <laughs> so with this one it's very similar to the um, the side um, laterals it's very important that you keep your arms straight when you're doing this and then try and hold it at the top because that's where um, at least I feel the best contraction the most contraction is when I'm holding it at the top and not just letting it drop like I always say in almost every video you want to control the negative and, and what that means is you want to control the weight don't let the weight control you 
very 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 important and then I know you guys are seeing me do a lot of exercises what I want to let you guys know if you're complete beginners if you just want to do the chest portion of this exercise um, I would definitely recommend that if you're if you're just starting out um, if, if you've never worked out before I would not recommend doing chest and shoulders in one day that that would just be I feel like too much um, so definitely don't be afraid to do chest and then shoulders a different day. So, and then this right here are face pulls. Uh, most important thing is definitely pull to at least your eyebrows. You don't want to be pulling like to your chin or anything. You want to be pulling to your eyebrows and then you want to keep your um, chest up and your back um, arched. So thanks for checking out the video, you guys. I hope you guys liked it. You guys always want to see how I'm training. So this is what a chest and shoulder uh, workout looks like. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, look up a fan.